the selection. You have to wait around 24 picks, hoping the guy you want is there, and it appears you wanted Stewart all along. Well, we were fortunate to get D.J. Stewart. Uh, we thought he was the best left-handed power-hitting prospect in the draft. And not only uh, does he have good power, but he's a really good on-base man. He, he's got over 500 on-base percentage. He reminded me a little bit of a left-handed hitter we had with the Red Sox, Mo Vaughn. He's built very similar to Mo Vaughn, and he has that kind of pull power. He's six foot 230. And Florida State coach Mike Martin had some really, really good things to say about DJ and his work ethic. He was the ACC Player of the Year a year ago as a sophomore in 2014. So we like his ability to hit, to get on base, to hit for power. And he's a really good team leader. Um, I think he's going to be exactly what we need in the organization to help us in years to come. He's a good setup hitter. I think he'll be a good drive-in hitter, and I think he's going to be a good power hitter. All right, Mo Vaughn out of Seton Hall University. He certainly had a tremendous big league career. Let's hope the same for Stewart. Now, when you have a college player coming in, he's obviously accomplished. Where might he start out in the minor leagues? I realize you got to sign him first, but where might he start out, and how fast would a kid of his experience uh, would be able to move through the well, system? Well, we're going to sign him. There's no question about that. We talked to him about that before the draft. It's just a matter of when. And Gary Rages, our scouting director, does a nice job in terms of signing the players and getting them out and getting them playing. And Stewart's from a good program at Florida State. He played for Team USA last year, so I expect he'll probably start out maybe in Aberdeen or in the South Atlantic League, and then he'll work his way up um, because he's played at a major college program. All right, you've made 11 selections so far, seven high school players and only four college players. What's the mindset? A lot of high school pitching you went after. Well, we wanted to restock our player development operation. We've got some good pitching in the uh, AA, AAA, and in the big leagues. And we wanted to get some position players to complement those pitchers that we have at the higher levels. The Montcastle player we took from Florida, he's a shortstop. He looks good. Uh, we took a left-handed pitcher from Oregon, Clevenger. So we'll have another Clevenger in the organization. He's got really <laughs> good stuff. He was one of the top strikeout pitchers in the Cape a year ago. Uh, we got another, uh, we got a kid named McKenna, center fielder from New Hampshire. We're going to probably take a look at him in the infield. We got a kid named Heinrich from the outfield from Florida. He's a terrific hitter. And we got, we got a kid named Flaw, right-handed pitcher. He's got an excellent curveball. So I think we got some good position players that are going to restock our minor league system at the lower levels and then work their way up and be help, uh, helpful in the future. All right, let me ask you about Ryan Mountcastle. He's the shortstop you talked about. Now, a couple of years ago, you drafted Adrian Marine, a shortstop right. uh, out of high school. Where does he project it? And is this a depth move where you hope to get a, a youngster, obviously a teenager, 18 years old, uh, moving along hopefully towards Baltimore? Well, he's a, he's a good prospect with a bat. He can run. He's got quick feet. He's currently playing shortstop. I don't know if he's going to continue there. But like Earl Weaver said, take all the shortstops you can and we'll worry about where to play them when they get to the big leagues. But this kid can hit and he's got power. John Hughes, a really sharp kid, uh, top notch pitching prospect from Georgia. He's one of our scouts saw him strike out 13 in a row. Now it's, it's hard enough to strike <laughs> out 13 in a row, but just think of all the strikes you got to throw to strike out 13 consecutively. But he's got good stuff, good delivery, and, and uh, uh, we think he's going to be helpful. All right, Gary Reschitz and his staff, they've been at this since last year's draft, uh, seeing all these players' potential draft picks. How many do you get to a chance to go out and see and then add your input in that draft room? Well, we have some really good uh, scouting people. Gary Reschitz does a great job. His cross-checkers, Matt and Danny Haas, they do a terrific job, and they see these players year-round. You know, it's, you, you can see a lot of players on video, and I saw some of these players uh, in the draft this year, but we get to see a lot of them on video. And we've got 20 scouts that are doing an excellent job. They're doing a bang-up job. And then w they come in and they put it all together with the financials and where they fit on the team and so on. And, and they've been working real hard the last 10 days here in Baltimore. All right, you just selected with your 11th pick uh, in the 10th round out of East Carolina University, a left-handed pitcher, Reed Love. Now, did Mike Wright call you up and say, hey, Dan, I got this guy my old school. You might want to take a look at him. Well, Mike Wright had a great debut. Yes, he, did. uh, he didn't give up any <laughs> runs, I think, until his third outing. And East Carolina, we know, does a great job with the pitching. And uh, 
we're always trying to find left-handed pitching, and that's how we ended up drafting Love. Well, congratulations on what appears to be a, a real good draft. As you say, stockpiling depth to the organization. Can't wait to see DJ Stewart here shaking hands, signing, and, and off playing somewhere. I, I'm excited about the power in his bat. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be a good draft. We had the extra pick uh, for compensation pick this year. And I think our scouts really did a good job. But, you know, time will tell. Right. You never know. But we got some middle of the diamond players. We got some left-handed pitching. We got some right-handed power pitching. And there's all, you can always seem to find a spot for those players with those skills. All right, Dan Duquette, the Orioles executive vice president of baseball operations. Been a busy couple of days around here with the draft continuing in New York City.